In this experiment, we're going to build a simple telephone. For this, you'll need two cups, and they can be plastic or styrofoam, a length of string about 5 to 10 meters long, and a nail or some other object to punch a hole in the bottom of the cup. And you may need a hammer to help you do this. The first thing to do is to punch holes in the bottoms of your cup. Now I have a set already made up. You can see in this cup, I've punched the hole through it and run the string up into the cup. I've also tied a knot onto the string so that the string cannot pass through the bottom. Then I did the same thing to the other cup. The next part, you need a friend. Have your friend take one cup while you hold the other cup up to your mouth. Make your friend walk a far enough distance away so that the string becomes taut or tight. Now, while you talk into the cup, have your friend listen and see what he hears. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? How does our simple telephone work? Well, when we talk, we make sound. And sound acts like waves. When these waves hit things, it causes them to vibrate. For example, when sound waves hit our ear, our brain senses the vibration of our eardrum and translates that to sound. Now, in the case of our telephone, when I talked into my cup, the sound waves hit the string and caused the string to vibrate. The sound waves traveled all the way along the string till the other cup where my friend was missling. And vibrations hit his or her eardrum, and they heard a sound.